Welcome back guys, I am Muni from smarttutorials.net This is series of tutorial on integrating jQuery autocomplete with Laravel, KPHP and Codeignitor frameworks Please check the video description for the demo and download link In this tutorial we are going to integrate multi text field jQuery autocomplete with Laravel uh, For this first I will cover how to add and remove table rows dynamically using jQuery Then I will cover how to integrate multi text field jQuery autocomplete in with Laravel. Okay. Uh, in Employee control, uh, Controller, I added new page called Multi. Also created new uh, view file for this uh, Multi page inside the resources we use Employee directory, the Multi dot blade dot php. In Multi blade dot php, I added form inside the form. I added tables with the default one row. So each table row will have its own unique ID so that is called row one two three like that. So also I created a multi .js inside the public JS folder. Okay, that I have included that multi .js in the blade.php. Next I will select this button and add the click event of this. Okay, when someone clicks on that, we need to add the new table row to the table body. Uh, so for that in multi .js I created few variables and uh, selected DOM elements and kept the reference of those DOM elements in the in those variables. Okay. For that first I will what I will do in the DOM ready event I will call uh, I will call the register events inside the register events um, I will add the uh, click event to this button okay when someone clicks on that I will call the add new row function add new row function inside the add new row function I am calling the form HTML inside the form HTML I am form dynamically forming the table rows uh, each row and uh, the text field inside the uh, table row will have its unique ID. When, whenever you click on add new row button uh, to maintain the unique row ID, so I am incrementing the row count. So whenever you add the row count keep on getting incremented to maintain the unique ID. So finally it, it returns the formed uh, table row with the input fields. I am appending that HTML to the table body. Okay, let's see. Reload the page. Um, I'm clicking on that. So if you see that new table row is keeps on adding it. Okay. If you check, each row will have its unique ID. Row underscore four, row five, three, six, seven, eight, like that. So inside the each table row, um, the info field have also its unique ID. Next, I'm adding the click events to this uh, th in each row. So using its class name table row. Here I am using delete row. Uh, using that class name, I am adding uh, click event. When someone clicks on the th, it will call the delete row. Inside the delete row, uh, I will get the currently clicked element ID. I am splitting it. So when you split, I am getting the array. So inside the array, I am get. I will get the last element of the array. So that will be the row number one, two, three, like that. So finally dynamically forming the ID and removing it. So reload. And now I'm removing the row 3. If you see, I'm getting the ID of currently clicked element and splitting it, that will be array. And I'm getting the lost element in the array, that will be it. I'm forming the row ID and uh, removing that row. Okay, Th this will be, so it involves a lot of work. So I'm covering the simple trick. Okay. If you see, um, so each th its parent is row, so we need to remove that. So what I'm doing is, um, just reload. I'm removing that uh, row four. So if I'm, if I, what I'm doing is, I'm getting the currently clicked parent that will be the row four, and removing it. That's it. We have successfully added functionality part uh, dynamically adding and removing table rows using jQuery. Next, I will cover how to add a multi text field autocomplete functionality with the Laravel. If you see each uh, text field in the table row, it has a common class name called autocomplete text. Using that, I am attaching the autocomplete uh, functionality for the text field. So, what I am doing is in the register events uh, using autocomplete text class, I am attaching the focus events whenever the particular text field is get is focused um, uh, it will trigger the handle autocomplete function 
inside the handle auto complete functions i will get the, the reference of currently focused element using this and saving in the current element also if you see each text field has uh, data property called data field name that is name num code phone code iso so next uh, i'm getting the the field name uh, data field name of the currently focused element i'm saving it as field name next i'm adding um, auto complete to the currently focused elements also i'm passing list options to the uh, auto complete now here uh, for the source instead of direct listening some st uh, static data i am provided callback functions um, okay so so that callback function will get triggered uh, whenever user starts typing something in the uh, currently focused element for example so i added a breakpoint to the source okay and the callback get called i console the first data um, so in the first parameter i will get the whatever user types in the text box second is a, a function we will call that function after we get the response from the serv server uh, okay so we can uh, control uh, when this function need to be called okay based on using min length because uh, whenever user start to type, type something um, this function will get triggered inside that function we are making a just call to the server so if we make unnecessarily too many calls it will increase the server load to avoid that uh, we can use the min length to set the uh, when it needs to be triggered for example when user start to type something in the text box uh, more than two letter we will make a call to the server call otherwise we won't work okay for example now reload if I type uh, first letter, it will not trigger. But if I sec type second letter, then only will uh, the callback get triggered. In the callback, um, I'm uh, I'm making a just call to the get countries. So I'm passing whatever user type value um, and the field name, okay, to the get countries in the employees controller. In the employees controller, I'm getting the name and field name, whatever uh, the past value and forming the query and executing that query and returning that response okay once once i get the response from the server this success callback get triggered um, in the success callback as a function we will get the whatever response we got as a first parameter okay here in the success callback i created a variable i kept some default value if there is no response from the server i will show this message there is no match in the code for the particular search term if there is a response okay i am using jquery map function that i am formatting that response to jquery compatible uh, response once i formatted that response I am passing that uh, formatted data to the callback function. I am calling that callback functions. Once they're done, uh, if you called, it will show whatever you formatted data as an autocomplete. Okay. Once you select this select event callback get triggered, it it will accept uh, two parameter event and the selected data. Whatever the selected country data, we will get as a second parameter. Okay. Um, I know the currently focused element. I'm passing that to the get ID. In the get ID, uh, I'm I'm getting the currently uh, focused element ID and splitting it and returning the um, lost element in the array row number using the row number dynamically forming the input field IDs and assigning selected item to the each text field. Okay. We successfully integrate multi text field auto complete with the Laravel. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the updates.